Welcome back to your review for the Algebra 1 Semester 1 final exam. This is problem 19, but if you have any problem that's talking about Kaj and her need to build birdhouses, an extreme number of birdhouses for a class project, you're probably in the right spot. Um, the wording for the third sentence is a little tricky. It says the number of minutes it takes Kaj to build birdhouses is a function of the number of birdhouses she builds. Huh. So to me, it sounds like the number of minutes it takes Kaj to build birdhouses is like an output. We're interested in how many minutes she spent. And it's a function of the number of birdhouses which she's already built. And I think that's an input. So if we input a number of birdhouses, we should get an output of how long it's, she's been working. So another way to write that is if we use f for a function, if we input the number of birdhouses, right, like this, then the answer, the output, is going to be a number of minutes. Okay. Now the question asks, which statement correctly describes the domain or range of this function? Well, we should probably find the domain and range for this function. Uh, it's important to remember that the domain always describes the input of a function. So what is the input here? Well, the input is the number of birdhouses. And I assume for this problem we're going to say that a birdhouse is either done or it's not, which means our possibilities for a domain is you could have built zero birdhouses, or one, or two, and you could go all the way up, I think, to 15 birdhouses, because here it told us that Kaj is going to build 15 of them. So what's going to happen is we're going to input some number of completed birdhouses into our function, into our rule, and then the output, which is the range, is going to tell us how many minutes that Kaj has been working. And if we think about this as a relationship here, if Kaj has built zero birdhouses, she's been working zero minutes, slacker. However, if she's finished one, because it takes 20 minutes to build a birdhouse, she'll have been working 20 minutes. Two is 40 minutes, and so on and so forth. And I think 15 times 20, well, it's two times 10 first, that's 150, double it to get up there. We're looking at 300 minutes. Now, let's take a look at the multiple choice answers. A says the domain is the set of all real numbers, meaning we can input any number we want here. Well, that's just not true. We can only input 16 numbers, anywhere from 0 to 15. So it's definitely not all real numbers. B says the domain is the set of all integers from 0 to 15. Well, these are integers. No fractions, no decimals, and we can input any one of those. I think B's looking pretty good. C says the range is the set of all real numbers. Well, our range is not all real numbers. Our range is actually multiples of 20, right? 0, 20, 40. There's no decimals, no fractions. There aren't even any odd numbers in here. So our range is definitely not every number. And then D is where things get a little confusing. D says the range is the set of all multiples of 20 from 0 to 300. And that's actually correct. However, this problem has a typo. So whoopsie. D is actually supposed to say um, the range is the set of all integers from 0 to 300, which is incorrect because it's not just integers. It's 0, 20, 40, and it's not all, or they are integers, but it's not all integers. We're missing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on and so forth, right? So D actually ends up being incorrect, and so our final answer is B. Now, if you didn't realize there was a typo because you hadn't watched this yet, if you did this correctly, you would have actually picked B and D. Um, but because it's multiple choice and we only get one correct answer with the typo, changed, our correct answer should be 